Coffee Lands Cafe is uh, now selling these green coffee beans that you can use for roasting coffee at home. And uh, I am recording this video here uh, just to give you an idea of how easy it can be. Uh, there, there are plenty of machines you can buy for roasting coffee at home, but you don't really need them. You can just use the pan that you may already have. And of course, you should always drink a cup while you're roasting. So I like to keep the heat around like a medium high temperature and uh, I warm up the pan a little bit. If you notice the clock, you can get an idea of how much time it takes to complete the whole process. So this is about a half a pound of beans. It's a little bit less because uh, as you may have seen in the previous video, I did a smaller batch uh, as a test run and uh, I used that video for our Instagram. Uh, so this is about a half a pound and it's important to stir while the beans are in there to keep them from uh, burning or cooking unevenly. I think if you're using this method you're going to have an uneven roast. It's not going to be perfect uh, but uh, if that's okay with you then this is a, a great way to do it. Uh, this is certainly a great way to get involved in roasting at home. Uh, it's only a half a pound and uh, it's not that difficult as you can see. So I just keep it in the pan and I keep the beans moving. Uh, I use a wooden spoon and a cast iron pan here. Um, I don't think you have to do it that way. Uh, but this uh, again just to, as an example of how easy it is to do at home this is in my life maybe the third time I've roasted coffee beans at home and I think they came out great. I'm uh, stirring here as you can see if you have a pan like mine and you get a little vigorous with your stirring uh, you may lose a bean or two and if you lose a bean you may be tempted to grab it and throw it back in the pan just remember that these beans are very hot so <laughs> you may have to throw it back in the pan fairly quickly it's like a small version of hot potato. You just got to throw it in there. Uh, so if you keep an eye, uh, as I'm stirring, you'll see the color begin to change. Uh, you know, I skip ahead a little bit here and there just to keep the video from being too long. Now it's it's been about uh, six minutes in. And uh, I, I, I had some sound on the video that I originally removed because the sound of the stirring uh, made it difficult to hear what I was saying and uh, it, it got a little confusing. But as you stir, you may notice uh, that there's some extra pieces in there. That there's always a, a little what they call just chaff that will pop off the bean as you roast it. Uh, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, and as you'll see in the end, I, I use a colander to cool the beans, and usually at that point, at any of the chaff, uh, you know, you can kind of filter it out. From what I've read, and you can you can Google how to roast beans at home, and there's all kinds of methods and uh, different techniques, and maybe in the future we can we can explore those uh, and, and post those videos also. Uh, but uh, you'll you'll hear a crack, and this is this is fine. This is normal. Usually the, there's two sets of cracks, and uh, if you're going just by sound, but then by the second crack, you want to lower the heat or just turn it off uh, to avoid burning the beans. So you can see here, uh, if, if you look at the beginning, this is much darker. Still not done, but we're making progress, and you'll see there's a little bit of smoke. Uh, there will be a little smoke. I think the more beans you roast at a time the more smoke you'll have and so if, if it's a very cold winter day you might not want to do beans at home because uh, you probably don't want to have to open the window to let the smoke out uh, other people I've heard will take a pan like this and just put it on the grill outside uh, you know if it's cold and they don't want to have the windows open you can roast at home that way 
and uh, once again you can see it it's getting darker and darker and really uh, the nice thing about roasting your own beans is you can decide uh, when you want to stop and and what kind of roast you want I usually like a darker roast and uh, so I keep going here and we are getting to the end but you can see it's, it's, it looks a lot more like a uh, coffee that you would buy in the store here's an example these are the ones I roasted the other day and I put them over here just so I can try and match the roast um, so all together I'll have a half a pound and you may notice it seems like you have more than when you first bought the bag at the cafe uh, it's because the beans actually get a little bit larger as you roast them and and you can tell here's some more smoke and now I, I put them in this colander I just kind of shake it's important to cool them quickly uh, because the internal temperature of the bean is still hot at this point so if you don't cool it it will continue to roast even though you've taken it out of the pan so I try and spin it around just to kind of let the air cool it off thanks for watching and don't forget you can buy your green beans in the cafe and roast at home and let us know how it goes.